Hello everyone. Today we're going to create dropping and bouncing text animation using Adobe Animate CC. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, so let me test the movie on a web browser. So um, the text is falling down like a dropping to the ground level and bouncing back with the reflection and then on the hello world like a neon sign effect uh, shows up okay so let's get started okay so as you saw um, the animation uh, said uh, hello world and before I start in anime CC I want to show you how I created uh, the reflection of each letter and then on the neon sign for hello so I open the other uh, first letter W uh, you can create any type of letters just like this uh, in Illustrator or Photoshop really doesn't matter and then what I did uh, first I saved this file uh, as a transparent pink file so I can see the background and then uh, for the reflection go to edit menu and transform and flip vertical so it is kind of flipped over and then uh, I'm gonna add a new layer mask and choose your um, um, gradient tool make sure your gradient option is a black and white and then place your mouse cursor maybe somewhere here if you're on the border of the dark and the light blue somewhere here and hold down the shift key and drag and stop somewhere here so it's kind of fading out and then I change the opacity value of this layer down to uh, maybe somewhere around 30. It's almost invisible, but you will see it. And then once you're done, go to File, Export, Save for Web, and Save as Pink24 so we can keep the untransparent background. Okay? So in this way, uh, I repeated the same um, procedure for each letter W O R L D okay and I save the um, each letter separately okay and for the hello the neon sign effect so I just typed it in Illustrator okay uh, there are a lot of different ways of doing uh, making this kind of a neon sign effect but I use the Illustrator okay so this is just a type and then I chose this typeface and <clears throat> Under type menu, choose create outlines, just like this, and then um, open uh, Pathfinder. I'm going to unite it as a one shape. Okay, and then let me change it like this. So uh, just a black stroke, and then no fill. So fill color, uh, there's nothing. And then let me choose in my swatch. My stroke color is really um, dark blue. And then I'm going to increase my stroke weight up to maybe 14. Yep, that's good. So this is the one. And copy, edit, copy, command C and edit, paste in front, command F. Looks the same, but there's another one. And then I'm going to change my stroke color a little bit brighter into a brighter blue. And then change the stroke weight, maybe a saw mirror 6. Yep, looks good. I'm going to repeat one more time. Command C, copy, command F, paste in front. And then let me change the um, <clears throat> excuse me color really really bright almost white, and I'm gonna change the stroke weight down to maybe two. So it looks like some kind of a, a neon sign effect. And then once they're done, I save it uh, as the other uh, transparent pink file as well under the file. Export, save for web, 
uh, save as a pin 24 and the um, then there are uh, two much kind of uh, unused space so I'm going to reduce the R4 size smaller and smaller okay and file export save for web and save as a pink file then we can just overlay this onto the, the uh, brick wall uh, pattern kind of dark blue, uh, brick wall okay so uh, let's go to anime cc okay so we're going to create yet a new uh, anime cc file the size of 600 by 600 pixel 24 frames and then html5 canvas create and then uh, please make sure your stage color is black okay next the thing is we're going to import all images i made a link so um, please make sure you download those images and go to file import to library and select all of them so there are five letters five reflections and one hello so 11 files so open it to the library so you're going to see it okay then uh, before we apply any type of uh, the twin the first we're going to set the kind of layout uh, everything except uh, your hello word so we're going to add that very later okay so let me start from the letter w w o r l and d word select all open the uh, your align panel if you do not see this it is under windows menu and align here and align vertical center and please keep the same distance by clicking this I'm going to kind of uh, center it, the visual center. Okay, so it looks good. Next, we're going to place the reflection of each letter right underneath in the visual letter. O, R, and L. D. I will make sure. Okay, so it looks good. Uh, let me move this reflection the uh, one click down, so it looks better. Okay. So uh, we're ready. Okay, and then in order to create that type of uh, individual letters, the animation. Uh, we will need to uh, assign individual layer per letter, meaning uh, there will be a 10 layers. So there are five letters and five reflections. So select all, go to modify, timeline, and distribute to layers. So we got everything. And then select the very first one, layer one. We don't need it anymore because there's nothing. So delete it. And before we go to the next step, I will place the each reflection right underneath each letter's layer, just like this. So word, O, R, L, and D reflection. Okay. Okay. Then now, it's time to apply the twin. So hold down the, um, uh, before you do that, Open your properties panel, click uh, on your stage, and then change your frame rate down to 10 just for now. Okay, and select the first keyframe of the top layer, hold down the shift key, and click on the bottom layer's first keyframe. So we're selecting all of them. Now go to insert menu, 
and create classic twin. Okay. Then click on the end there's the insert keyframe button. So we have second keyframe. Now place your the move your the playback head to the very beginning, your very first keyframe. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit, uh, maybe 40%. Okay. What I'm going to do is, on my very first keyframe, so at the very beginning, select your five letters only, no reflection. And move this to the very top out of your stage, just like this. Okay. Now select your reflection. I'm still on frame number one. Move down out of stage like this. So what's going to happen is they will be meeting on that bottom line. Okay, so before you play it, I will change my frame rate back to 24. So this happens, okay. But um, um, <clears throat> the nature of gravity, uh, the speed will be getting kind of a, uh, faster. So select all the first keyframes, all of them, and in your ease option, in your properties panel, there is an ease option, effect, and then I'm not going to choose anything. Just hit change this number down to minus hundred and the speed will be getting faster. See, you can see the difference. So this is more uh, kind of natural looking. Okay, now we're going to make a several bouncing. The letter was falling and then it will be bouncing back. Okay, so um, maybe I want two, three, four, maybe four more frames, maybe all around the frame number 14, maybe somewhere here, maybe five more, four to five. Select all frames by holding down the shift key, clicking, and then insert the keyframe. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all five letters only, original ones, and then by using my, uh, my arrow, up arrow, arrow key on my keyboard, let me hit maybe seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same way, all reflections, I'm going to move it down this time. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's falling down, hit the ground, and bouncing back. Now add another four more frames. Select all of them. Insert the keyframe. Deselect and select only five top letters, the original ones, and now they need to go back to the ground. So I um, hit the down arrow key seven times again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And select the reflections. Now this time hit the up arrow key for seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they meet again. So it is okay, but I'm going to uh, bounce it maybe just one more time. But um, since they're going to bouncing back a little lower from the ground level, uh, this time let me add just a three more frames. Insert the keyframe, deselect, select the, uh, the five letters only, and then hit up arrow key this time maybe four times. One, two, three, four that they will be bouncing back a little, little less. Now select the, um, um, what is this, the reflections, and hit the uh, uh, down arrow key uh, four times. One, two, three, four. And another three more frames. Insert keyframe. Deselect. Select the top. 
now hit the down arrow key four times one two three four and the reflections up arrow key four times one two three four so they meet again so let me play it okay so it looks okay but uh, just to give some little more fun on it what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the angle just a little bit so once the letter is falling down hit the ground and bouncing and this is the pick one two three the third keyframe so on this third keyframe select the first letter open the transform panel just to rotate maybe five degree next letter O same thing five degree next one five L rotate five degree and the last letter D rotate five degree and then reflection they're so, uh, supposed to be rotating kind of uh, the opposite uh, direction opposite angle because it's a reflection so open transform again now negative five degree see next letter O negative five R negative five L reflection negative five and the last reflection letter D negative five okay so this will happen falling bouncing see it's a little more fun bouncing and angles changing a little bit and hit the bottom again bouncing back okay and here we're gonna give another angle this time it's gonna be opposite so it's kind of second pick and negative five next letter O negative five uh, R negative five L negative five and the last letter D minus five and the reflection supposed to be opposite so positive five degree five 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 and letter D last one reflection five so watch this they are falling hit the ground bouncing back to the first pick and falling down back to the ground and bouncing back again to the second pick opposite angle and settle down isn't it fun okay. if you want yeah, you can uh, uh, add a little more uh, bouncing maybe one more or two more okay so they're falling at the same time but I want to give some little more fun uh, as you saw my preview so um first letter W is okay we're gonna keep it as it is uh, second letter O and the reflection select both by holding down the shift key and select those two letters I mean yeah and then uh, these two layers are selected and then grab it and move it to the right just a little bit just like this so we're giving some kind of a little kind of a uh, different time gap in between each letter and the third letter R so um, letter and then a reflection grab the entire layer drag it to the right L reflection and the letter 
and the last letter dn reflection. Maybe I need to go maybe one more, just like this. So this will happen. Watch. Isn't it fun? Problem is that at the end, the letter D is the only letter we are seeing because these are gone. So, uh, except the letter D and the reflection D, select the last frame so we can keep the same time frames. And by holding down the shift key, select the bottom layer and insert the keyframe. Then we'll see everything. Is it fun and playful? Okay, so we're almost done. But um, <clears throat> uh, since um, we're going to uh, upload this on the uh, Instagram, uh, the Instagram, I'm sorry, Instagram video, um, uh, it's kind of a, uh, basically kind of looping. So keep playing and repeating and repeating again. So I want to uh, give some kind of a little more times after this. So um, uh, this is a less than two second animation. Let me two, three, four, five. Maybe on six second mark. So people have enough time to read hello world. Okay. So there's total six second animation. And insert just keyframe. Okay. See? It will stay there. So let me preview it. Command return or go to control menu, test movie in browser. After six seconds, it will keep playing, repeating. So it looks good so far. Okay, after this, now let me go back to animate CC. Uh, I will add the other hello and the background images. So, let me go back. Oops. We need to see where to have that hello world thing the, with the, uh, the grid wall background images. So maybe right after letter D is completed, I want to have that hello thing. Okay, so that is uh, frame number 40. So add a new layer and place this new layer to the very bottom. I'm going to rename it as a hello. Okay, and on frame number 40, highlight the frame number 40 on your very hello bottom layer. Go to insert menu, timeline, and blank keyframe. So you see that new blank keyframe here. And then in the library panel, choose the hello, place it in your stage. I'm going to, in my properties panel, let me set to um, zero point, x zero and y zero. Okay. Okay, but for now, this hello word uh, is kind of just popping up, just show up, shows up, just like this, uh, which is not good. So what I'm gonna do is, Select the bottom layer on frame number 40 where there is a hello background that starts. And let me insert classic twin, create classic twin. And then maybe um, just make four frames or three frames after insert a new keyframe. Okay. And then at the very beginning, the very first keyframe of my hello word. Highlight that frame. Now click on this hello image on your stage. Now check your properties panel. You can change the color effect. Choose alpha. So starting from 0%. I want to give some kind of a, a blinking, like the actual neon sign. So after another two or three, Insert another keyframe, click on your image, 
now alpha value down to zero again. So there will be blinking. So after another two keyframe, choose the image, even though there is nothing, but there is something. There's your hello world, your background, and then now back to 100. Now I'm going to allow to have a little longer frames. Insert another keyframe. Click on your image on your stage. Alpha down to zero. And just a minute, two more keyframes. Click on your image area. Back to 100. So there will be a kind of a blinking like this. So when you turn on the switch of uh, the neon sign and the fluorescent lamp, uh, it will have something like this. Okay, and uh, let me play it. Okay, so it's not too bad. And let me test the movie. Okay, it will keep uh, play again. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, let me go back to Animate CC. Um, let me save this file first. File save as. I'm going to save it uh, on my desktop as um, hello. Okay. And then uh, you can save this file, file export video and media uh, like we did last time. Maybe I, I, if you need to know that, we can refer to the, the, uh, the previous video. I will make a link. Okay. Let me test it again. Bouncing back and hello world. Falling and bouncing with the reflection. Okay. So it's pretty cool and it's not that hard. Uh, we're just using the just the classic twin. That's it. Okay, so that's gonna be for today. Uh, I hope this is helpful and you enjoy this video. Uh, and then I uh, really appreciate it if you can if you subscribe it. So thank you for watching and see you next time.